Mr. Millennial. Slowing down process. We got a change of plans this morning. Oh no, here we go. All right, so the plan, the first thing this morning, if you guys can see way off in the distance over there was to finish off our great dig. Uh, you guys have either seen that video or will see that video, but when the neighbor calls. I have a question. Isn't this backwards? <laughs> Just ignore this operation. <laughs> so when the neighbor calls, you got to drop everything you're doing to go help the neighbor, right? Yes. So Logger Wade is, uh, Logger Wade lives back there. And Logger Wade is logging over there. Can you see me point over there? He lives back here. He's logging Which over there. Which is unusual for him to be this Yeah, he's usually not this close to home. So likely he literally lives on one side of me and he's logging on the other side of me. <laughs> Does that make sense? Actually, the property he's logging on is a property we did some work on a while back for Farmer Chris. But anyways, they need a little help this morning getting their yard set up. Uh, we're going to fire up Bubba Dump, haul a few loads of chert, and uh, maybe see if we can round up some clay culverts they can use to uh, do that. Right. So anyways... Right here, just shot out that patch of woods. All the way over there, and I can see them. Look, yeah. show your people. They can't see that far. Oh, come on, can't you? Can I, you all spot the three deer in the field? I That's do. The I do Put see the. the I do see the three deer in the field. Anyways, let's uh let's finish this fuel transfer operation and go see if old Bubba Dump will fire up. Kick me on, sir. Well, the fluids all check out in the old girl. We'll see if it'll uh, start it's a little bit cold this morning. If you guys remember our little incident we had with the uh, non-winterized fuel. See, look, Lieutenant Dan and Bubba Dump are making friends. They're going to be best of friends for this is all over with. So let's see if this thing can crank and uh, get a little bit of air built while we're uh, checking fluids and some other things. We'll be ready to go. Mr. Millennial, we got two options. Two options? Do you want to load this thing up and haul it a mile down the road, or do you want to drive it a mile down the road? There's no, that's not two options. There's only one option. I am driving this thing down the road. <laughs> that's what's happening. Well, let's roll. Logger weights. You guys even see anything through the dirty windshield? Thing loaded. Man, what an absolutely gorgeous morning up here. So much better than that. It's actually cooler today than what it was yesterday with all that wind, but uh, the sun's out and it's awesome. 120 is still up here at the chirp pit from whenever we, uh, what did we do last? Oh, yeah, we filled in that cistern. Remember, we hauled a couple loads out of the cistern. And uh, let's see if this old girl fires up. I have no reason to believe the old 120 won't stop. Cardinal sin. I didn't check the oil, but we're gonna go with it. it's good because we just gotta load out one load. Come on, baby. Like clockwork. Let it warm up a little bit while Matt's coming down the driveway. We'll get him set up down below and get a load and throw it on this thing and head over the hill and see what Phil's got going on. Go a little bit 
more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Let's use that right there. Alright, let's get loaded. Alright. The first time the old 120 is loaded by the dump here. bigger hole to hit than the LC8500. Load number one of Chert on Bubba Dunn. There he is guys, he is loaded, loaded and rolling. We definitely did not overload him. He's just got a good healthy load on him. No need to, uh, we're hauling so short and uh, no need to tear up the driveway or do anything down through there. So we're just gonna let him go nice and light. Let's head the other end and see what we got. If I had to guess, I'd say he's 22, 23 ton at the most. The truck's supposed to haul 30. I'm sure you can get more than that on there if you really want to push your luck.
it's a good little spot to give you an idea of where we're coming and where we're going from so we basically loaded right up there on top of the hill now it's getting ready to come around the corner and we're basically going up there right to the end of that little stretch of road you can barely see not that far at all and uh we still don't have the best brakes on the truck so matt's just kind of taking it really easy kind of especially coming down around this steep corner right here just want to make sure if we meet a car or if anything happens we're slow enough that we can stop the truck holds itself back really well it's just stopping that last two or three mile an hour That's so pretty good even when you go to second with the stick if you leave the shift on it still downshifts to first for you 10 4 sounds good so basically what he's doing there is he's kind of experimenting with the transmission and seeing how much he can hold himself back with it sounds like it's working working really well almost too good at some point so he should be uh coming around the corner here any second and if he does lose brakes we're standing in a really bad spot we need to make it to, we need we need to plan an escape route we're going left or right i'm gonna go left i may throw you guys to the right we'll see what happens here he comes no, I think he's got her. He's creeping pretty good. No need to get in a hurry. No, dude, no need to do anything outside of anybody's comfort zone. We could probably haul this with a C8500, but uh, I'm not sure what we're getting into on the other end. And that's about a two to one load on there. So if this works out, it'll be a little bit faster. It'll be three loads versus six. And uh, we should be able to get the loads actually where Phil wants them and uh, save them from shuttling down there. So since it's close, I think this is our best option. It gives us another chance to check uh, check the truck out here a little bit. Oh, he's creeping along nice. No issues with that at all. Hey, sir. Oh, that's my cue. Get the heck out of the way, he said. All right, let's go to the other end. And uh, let's go to the other end and see what Phil's got going on. All right, Matt should be coming around the corner in a second, and this is where it's going. They're wanting to set their yard up here. They're actually logging this property and that property. There's a property line split right here. So let's catch up with Phil, see what he's got, and we'll go from there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got the brakes of smoke in there, bud. Just barely held them. I didn't put much pressure on them. Yeah, back in the dump right here. I think that's from the brakes. Got mirrors on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Got her hard. Straighten her up a little bit. Straighten her up. Straighten her up. Straighten her up. Straighten her up. Straight back. Cut her the other way a little bit. There you go, straight back. That's probably good right there, he says. Dumper. You got a power line back here, but I think you're good. First load was a success. Matt's back off for another one. We're gonna go get us some pipe. All right, I'll show you a little bit more of this job when it's not quite so hectic. Phil's got stuff he needs to get rolling and uh, we got stuff on our end I need to do. So we're trying to just bust butt and get a couple of loads of charity in there and get back to what we need to do. So I promise I'll show you more in a bit, but right past where we dumped that church, there's a ditch crossing there and it's a really cool old like handmade culvert. It's crazy. I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like it. But it's obviously not going to hold up their logging equipment because all the logs coming off those two jobs has to come through there so i got a couple of these clay pipe down here on the lot that uh, they can use for there but the ones they need are not the ones out front they're the ones in the back so we're gonna have to do a little we're gonna have to do a little bit of sorting to get what we need so let's go uh let's go see if we can dig them out i believe we're gonna need this to possibly make our life 
a little bit easier. Fire hose. We're going real far. All the way to the other side of the lot, so hang on tight. So if you guys follow Captain Clemens channel, you know he's been hauling some of these pipe out of here to some uh, property I bought just down the road. I was able to get most of these pipe for uh, almost free, the cost of trucking. I actually got a video of trucking these out of the uh, plant where they're actually made, which is like 20 miles from here. But I couldn't take them straight to my property because I hadn't closed on them yet. So I had to uh, stockpile them here. So Clemens has been hauling them out. I think he's got about nine or ten loads out of here so far. We still got a few more to go. Just a different place to store them because we got other plans for this property here. But the issue we got this morning is the pipes that we need for fill are actually those pipes back here. They're 36 inch belled pipes. These are 30 inch non belled pipes and I don't have very many of those. So this would make more sense to use those down here because I'd rather use these non bell stuff for what I'm doing. So since these pipes have got to get trucked out of here it'd make more sense to go ahead and take the time to uh just put a load of these on the truck so they're ready to roll for cleaning and then hopefully that'll get us access into those pipes back there behind it so let's grab the uh let's grab the loader and uh, we'll load that truck have it ready to roll and then we'll get the pipes out we need and then we're probably just going to pack the pipes we need with the loader down the fill because well you can tell they're close here's uh one of their trucks sitting right here on the lot but they're literally just right on the other side of that tree over there so we gotta go a little bit of around to follow the road to get there but long story short i think we're just gonna put them on the loader forks and pack them over there that's the plan the loader has got to be the hardest thing to climb up one-handed with the camera all right you're gonna start this morning Never down. This thing's pretty, pretty reliable as well. All right, close the box. I unloaded these pipes last time. I did them one at a time, but I think this loader's got enough oomph. I can do two of these bigger pipes at one time. I know we can do the smaller pipes. Oh, come on now. Oh, body lose out on the back. for different lights, so. Come on. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Nope. Alright. We're back to one at a time. We don't want to pull a Captain Cleaver here and break a pipe. We go adjust my forks accordingly. All right, try this again one at a time. You guys get the point. Let me uh, let me shuffle some pipe here, and then we'll get to the ones we need. There we go. 
go check it out guys. I'm only gonna have to move like maybe uh, three additional pipe to what we anticipated. The two right there. Oh, the two is one. We'll get this one over here out first. Hopefully I can get that other one stuck out behind there. If not, we'll move those three pipes and we'll be fine. Oh, go ahead. I haven't broke one yet. Don't want to start now. Set that one there. Get him on the next load. If I get this pipe out of here, I'm probably going to swing him around the other way. That way my forks are not beating on the bell. Oh, he's a heavy one. Tell you what we might do. Hang on there. We might lay him out here. Go ahead and grab that other one out. Spread the forks out and carry these down the road. Carry these down the road the other way so they're not out there bouncing on the forks and busting themselves up. And the last thing I want to do is make a dang mess out of the highway. That would not be good. Let's get him out. Let's see if we can get this one here snuck out of here. Yeah, we're gonna spread them forks. We're coming down from the side. I think it'll be a little safer bet to pack those down the road. So. to put a block underneath it. I'll go up there and show you guys in a little bit, but right up here on top of this hill is where we put that big crossing in at for Farmer Chris. And what of this property is not timber, uh, Farmer Chris actually farms. So I want to show you this uh, culvert down here real quick though. It's pretty cool if I can get down there without hurting myself. This is what they're actually replacing, but check this out. It's actually laid up all the way through there. Isn't that neat? It looks like they just found big rocks and laid across the top. That is cool. That is cool, but I don't think it's going to hold up to the log truck, so it's got to go. All right. I need to get out of here because they are hauling equipment in. And I'm in the way. All right, Matt's pulling in with our second load. Phil's got me a tree set over there. I want to put this... Uh, Put this pipe halfway on that tree. That way they can grab it with their track hoe. 
We'll send it in there, and then we'll get Matt dumped. We'll get rid of this pipe, and I'll get out of your way. <laughs> set the pipes themselves. Matt's on his way back with at least uh, one more loaded chart. We'll grab the pickup truck, come back, help him get dumped. And we're gonna go back to do what we're doing for a while. Load number three coming in. I think he's a little heavier on this one, Phil. You're looking good there, bring her on back. Yep, just put her in the neutral slowly. Cut her a little more. All right, start straightening her up. Straighten her up a little more, there you go. Straighten on back. You can see Phil, I'm gonna let him take over. I got him. It's amazing how well that chirp packs, it's just hard as could be right there. I can feel how hard it is, that is pretty freaking amazing. Yeah, you're clear on that line. You can't even reach it if you want to do. You're watching him in the mirror. Oh, 
They're good. All right, Matt's heading out. Phil's got his shirt. You good? We're gonna go do what we were doing before. We'll come back and uh, check on him in a little bit. Uh, you do realize that's not a bucket, right? Yeah. 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 I don't know how to use that either. And that's not a tree either. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be proud of you. Yeah. Hey, I can't use no bucket either. <laughs> All right, we're back the next morning. Wade's getting the old uh, bridge tour out here. I told him if I was him, I'd get a lot of that uh, rock and debris out there. So we set those pipes down in there. Don't take a chance of uh, damaging them. He does. He does actually have a bucket here. Just don't think he wants to take the time to put it on the machine. So let him get that cleaned up. We'll get those pipes set in there. in there no major issues on that one Wade's gonna make just a little bit more room on this end to make sure he's got enough room to slide that other pipe in there it's not a bucket but he sure gets by well, Wade's getting cocky look at him go well, easy now He's so close. There he got it. Got it. You're in there, just need to line it up a little bit. What? So I think you're in there, just need to maybe shove this in a little bit. What do you think, Phil? for you to see but if you take a little bit of dirt and kind of slide it down the bank towards it it chalks it you see what i'm saying good morning hi honey how, how are you doing? you got it <laughs> the half inch it really don't matter anyway. No. <laughs> All right, Wade's got his pipe set in there. They look awesome. Joanne's in the truck. They're going to put a load of twos over top of them. Then we're going to back up and put our load of chert over top of that. Eventually, their log trucks are going to back in. The yard is going to be set up over there. So, pretty much every log coming out of this job is going to have to go across these pipes.
nicely done, Joanne. Nicely done. All right, well, he took off on us, so we're going to be, uh, we're going to be being dead operator here for a second. I don't know if you guys can see through that window, we got a little bit of rock that Phil knocked down there. We're gonna kind of just get it worked in behind that pipe there best we can. Tire's gonna hit, so she can get back just yeah. a little bit farther. I'll get a little bit back here so her tire will level up a little bit. Get her back in here a little bit farther. There we go. I just thought about my windows being dirty. Can you see that? We we're really trying to get some bleach. On the back side there. Break it over. Yeah, dump a little bit right there, I'll take it both ways. I think she dumps the rest of it right there, I'll just take it both ways. I think we'll be good. Even if she wants to angle that way a little bit. Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 Yeah, that's what I
Get a little bit right here in this hole, maybe. Well, I think I tried to stock it. Oh, they pocket pocket. Out and then fill that in. My God, that's good. Okay. That thing I don't know if I'm that good with this thing, Phil, but I'll sure try. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> All right, Phil is happy with that. We got to figure out how to open this thing. There we go. Gonna try to take these rocks, stack them on the end here to kind of keep that keep that stuff from falling out of there. I'm just playing, man. <laughs> well, enjoy yourself. It's like a grown man claw. <laughs> well, for my first time stacking with that thing and not really being able to see what I'm doing, pretty happy with the way that turned out. And I believe we are ready for the load of chert now. So, popping a truck back up here. Get it dumped. We'll probably go after one more load. about half this first load of chert jumped in there phil's gonna take the dozer kind of drag it back he's wanting to scrape some of this mud off his road before he gets too carried away we're gonna dump the rest of it probably haul two or three more loads in here for him and then at least this section of the project will be done pipe's not moving at all that's good that is good in here for him. Get this road good and fortified so they get trucks in and out. And we're gonna check back. Check that out guys, this is actually the next day. We end up hauling about uh, five or six more loads of chert in here for him yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday, today is Sunday. Unfortunately, they're not uh, logging today, but they did get everything set up, road. I think they hauled five or six loads of logs out of here yesterday. And the uh, culvert pipe and the road is holding up absolutely beautiful. They had a little bit of an advantage here. I think I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there wasn't, the old county road used to go right through here. So there was a little bit of a uh, little bit of road base here, but you guys can see we got the chert all the way back to the boom. Joanne's been going at it. She's already got a bunch of logs bucked up. It looks like this system's gonna work out fairly well for them. They uh, come down the county road this way, back straight up and in, pretty much gonna stay on the rock or the gravel the whole time. Load out should be some uh, all weather or all season uh, logging farm. So I don't know for sure how many acres they got. They're, the property line 
tiny right there is actually right on the property line. They're logging two separate properties, but uh, everything's going to come. Everything's going to come right here. If you guys haven't seen Logger Wade's channel, Logger Wade's my neighbor. He's the one who's responsible for getting me into YouTube. Go, uh, go check him out. But the truck here, this is uh, this is actually the exact same truck that I got, A30C. It's actually a year older, but as you guys can see, it's in a little bit better shape. And uh, yeah. I got tire envy. This thing is uh, absolutely awesome. There's a lot of videos on Wade's channel about this truck, and it was actually featured on uh, a few episodes of Axman on the History Channel. You guys can also find it there. But Wade built all the custom uh, stuff there in the front, limb risers and stuff to protect it in the woods. Put the log boasters on it, put the headache racks on it, and then obviously put the uh, the big tires on them. One of those 1050-25s. There's some... Uh, there's some big old, big old beast. It's uh, it's definitely a nice setup, but it's kind of been a little bit of a game changer for them. They actually take the excavator with the uh, grapple saw head on it back in the woods, and they'll semi buck stuff up to decent lengths. And instead of skidding it all this distance, they'll load it on this truck, hold out here to the boom, and then Joanne will do the final cut on it and they'll uh, load it up and head it out on the log trucks from them so especially on these bigger jobs they get spread out this is uh this has really been a game changer for them a lot of places will use a forwarder and in those places they're clear cutting so everything's coming here but in what we're doing here or what wade and them are doing here is a very selective cut on certain hardwood trees and some softwood trees so they get they, t they tend to get spread out a lot more uh, than what you would on like a clear cut job where they're actually chasing it with the boom and stuff so hopefully that makes sense but uh before we head out of here guys this property here uh was actually the site of a couple videos on my channel so let me uh let's head up to the top of the hill and see how our work's holding up real quick up here on top of the hill real quick guys i kind of show you the system this is their uh 321d with the rototech hope i say that right i only say it wrong head on it and basically this is about halfway between here and the boom they've got this rack set up which is uh pretty nice so as this goes up it stair steps into two two foot increments so I'd, if i had to guess it'd be 8 10 12 14 and 16 on the back and then if they bump their saw head right up against this where the saw head comes down i think that gives them like a four or six inch overcut so basically when the skidder brings the full length logs out here they can cut that in like one or two logs off the end and they get it in length so they can get it in their haul truck tiny and then tiny will haul it down over the hill and then joe man will complete the process and then it'll go out on trucks and that saves them a whole lot of skid you know skidding is burning a lot of fuel you're always dragging that and got the friction on the ground you get loaded up in that truck i think they can get right at a semi load on tiny so every time tiny goes out of here it's one semi load of logs versus about seven or eight skitter trips to get a semi load of logs so the system works uh very well for them in the type of logging they're actually doing so anyways sorry i just want to show you that guys show you that real quick and if you guys haven't jump over and check out logger wade's channel they've got uh, all kinds of videos of uh, building this equipment and their uh, systems and processes and, and everything so all right let's go around the corner anybody recognize that beast of a tree right there i still don't think the camera does that thing justice on how big it actually is but that is the tree that used to sit right up here on this knoll got a whole video on the channel of taking it out jerry and i with the uh, 120 and the 850b i can't remember the title of the video right now it is a really cool video i promise but in that video i got hundreds if not thousands of comments about why we didn't give this tree to logger weight or why didn't we call logger weight in to get this tree uh why are we wasting this tree <laughs> the reality of it is Wade and them actually had a professional forester come in and mark all the trees on this property. And after they marked all the trees on the property, this tree here was uh, was not marked. Whenever I was asked why, I got two simple answers. Keep in mind, I'm not a forester, I'm not a logger, so logger Wade could probably answer this better than me. But one, what one log they could possibly get out of the bottom of is actually too big to go through their mill. And the quality of wood in there due to its age and where it grew was probably not worth the effort to quarter it out and save it. The best thing that can be done to it is let it sit here on the side and turn back into organic material or, or dirt over time. So I guess trees are like everything else, guys. They have a life expectancy. And unfortunately, this one here 
is past its prime and the uh they, of course waiting them uh pride themselves on the high-end wood and uh this one here would just not make high-end wood now could a guy go in there if he had a sawmill a small sawmill and he had time and maybe cut a couple limbs out of there and make some flooring and stuff for his house absolutely you probably could but if this was my property i just don't want anybody on here doing that because uh, it opens yourself up to a whole lot of liability keep in mind guys we took this tree out and put back more plants it's not like we took this tree out and built a apartment complex or a house or a garage up there so we just kind of exchanged one for the other a little bit i had to see the tree to go too guys but sometimes sometimes uh sometimes things just reach the end of life and need to be repurposed so all right anyways let's head over the hill i'm gonna show you one more thing several 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 videos on the channel guys of building this uh road through the woods here for farmer chris that right there was the old old four-wheeler trail or the old jeep trail that come through here and uh, we actually cleared our way all the way down through here so chris could get from one field to the other there's actually another little field right up on top of the hill if you guys remember from all the videos this used to be uh crp ground which basically means it was inseticide to come out and you know, whenever they farmed this 25 years ago you know, they could get their small equipment through that one but obviously chris is farming with modern equipment and he needs a much bigger road but they did have uh, i did not get any video of it last fall they successfully got in and out of here with the planter combine and grain carts uh there was one hole that developed right there where our fill met the original ground and uh never to get back in here to actually drain it fill actually drained that far because they're gonna eventually end up hauling some uh logs through there but as you guys see down there all the uh clay pipes are still in place road for the most part looks absolutely awesome absolutely awesome held up great chris didn't have any problems getting in and out of here last year he actually had more problems up on top of the hill was in there a wet spot in the middle of the uh middle of the field so but uh, you guys always want to know what projects look like after we get done with them this would have been right out a year ago we done this it's getting ready to go through its second season chris should be in here planting and probably about the next uh 30 to 45 days so well guys that's gonna be a wrap on this one hopefully you enjoyed if you did give the video a big old thumbs up go over and check out logger wage channel he's got a lot of cool stuff going on over there as well if you don't want to miss out what's going on on this channel consider subscribing that way we can catch you on the next one later guys